short and it happened in very short notice and uh, he was very kind enough to accept our request to give a small talk while he was here on his vacation so putting him in a walk so not allowing him to have his vacation <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah yeah it's, it was very kind of him and also thank you for Charmaine, Shanga and all who uh, arranged to have this evening talk and uh, so as you probably saw on the website of his introductions you know that uh, he went to Kopan Monastery same monastery where I went in Nepal um, in 1992 yes. and then in 1997, he went to Sera, and then he graduated, and then he went to Yume Tande College, as, as most of the geishas do for a year, and then he was back to Kopan, and Lama Sobarumbuche asked him to be the resident teachers, and as well as the uh, in charge of a FMD center in a, one of the city in Nepal, in Pokhara. So, so he's the resident teacher as well as the, you know, in charge, whether you call it director, manager, whatever, you know. Um, so, and he's visiting here in the United States. One of his friends invited him and it's his first time uh, in the United States. And so he's trying to visit some friends. And so I asked him to, come and visit me because I was feeling very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> so again, he was very uh, kind enough to come and uh, be here to cheer me up a little bit, you know. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, and he speaks perfect English, so he can talk, uh, he can give talk in, in, uh, in English directly. So I think that is wonderful. And um, yeah, so we have known for a uh, long time. So, and so I won't take too much time. Uh, and then, you know, uh, probably, you know, he will give talk for half hour, 45 minutes or 40 minutes. And then it will be open for any questions people have. And please do feel um, without any hesitations, feel comfortable to ask any questions, you know. Um, he, he says he enjoyed the question session more than actually giving the talk itself. And um, yeah, and so I think I will very much encourage to not only ask questions, some of the questions that you have asked me that you couldn't get any answer, good answer or the right answer. So here you have another opportunity to ask him uh, <laughs> and it is, I think it is a lovely because, you know, um, you have been seeing my face and my talk, same boring talk for many years. So it will be new, fresh. Um, and it's, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm so happy, glad that he accepted to give the talk and that you all are kind of joining that. So, yeah. So now I will leave to him. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> so, could we offer a quick mandala? Yes, please. Geshe Charmaine, our director, would just like to offer a quick mandala, make a mandala offering. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but you have to forgive my singing, Geshe Kunga. No problem. <laughs> okay, please. Okay. Sashi Poki Jugshing Medo Tramri Ramlingji Nidegan Padi Sange Jingju Mikte Uwai Joku Nam Dagjing La Chow 
Bhasha Idam Guru Ranama Dalagam Niriyataya Me Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. So, still I'm feeling very nervous. So don't mind. Uh, uh, this is my really first time talking in Zoom and I'm not familiar, with, seriously. And if there's something, might will go on. Please oblige this. And uh, yeah, so I don't know how to start with, you know, but somehow I feel like very exciting to talk to all of our, all of you. And uh, this really sort of like welcoming me, you know. Yeah, and uh, so I don't know how, why did I choose uh, the talk about uh, how to avoid laziness and discouragement, discouragement in our practice through the profession of joyous effort. And I choose it. And uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, suddenly, you know, somehow I find myself, you know, being oneself, a lazy person, you know, and talking about how to avoid this laziness. This is something very, what do you call, uh, contradictory for myself, you know. But somehow, uh, of course, I think being, uh, uh, what's it? like a normal sentient being or the common sentient beings and everybody has this laziness. That's very common to all of us. And, uh, but at least uh, we can try to avoid this laziness or discouragement. And uh, uh, with the, I mean like a portion of this enjoyment. Uh, yeah, so Myself, I think if I tell uh, from my experience, I think that that will be I'm mean, like a, um, better. I think you know. So okay, since uh, you know our childhood, like we become monk, but we have to go through the lots of lots of disciplines. But somehow we are always there with the laziness, you know. And uh, and we always think that I mean, like this uh, studies of Buddhism, of the studies of this all the practices is kind of like a sort of like a not meaningful for oneself, you know. But as a growing up, time to time, then you can come across um, some meaningful. And uh, yeah, you can see sometimes, you know, I mean, like, a, uh, for example, let's say uh, generating compassions or the generating bodhicitas or the generating like uh, emptiness. I think at the beginning, some, some like it's, it, it's kind of like, a, you know, I mean, like a sort of like, a, it's just like a talk. It's not like a, it's, it's a practicable or something like that, you know? And, uh, but this time goes on, goes on. We keep on practicing, practicing. Just, you know, I mean, like sometimes we become very discouraged that, you know, we see someone like, for example, let's say, Lama Soba Rinpoche, you know, he practiced so much. He can do so much, but we cannot do anything, you know. And that sometimes it makes us in discouragement. And of course, at the same time, so we have to go through a lot of walks, of course. We have to go through with lots of, like, you know, I mean, like, uh, especially being the lay persons, walking and meeting with different peoples, definitely we come across with lots of what you call distractions, lots of problems, lots of, you know, and then we feel like, oh, you know, this is kind of like a useless or the hopeless for all of us to practice on these things, you know. 
yeah, this is quite, I mean, like obvious with all of us and including me, myself being a, a monk, but still sometimes, of course, oh, enlightenment, just forget it. Sometimes happens to me, no? Then, yeah, then, uh, but still, uh, like, you know, I mean, like, uh, sometimes you see, like, uh, you can carry on like this, ants trying to, you know, uh, climb up the rocks. And yeah, so day by day, we can reach to the goal somehow, someday, you know. And uh, yeah, and uh, so myself, I keep on going like this, you know, no matter so you know, how much I can do or no, how many, no matter how much I can succeed, but I never lose my, what to call, a, a just single practice every day. I think um, then, I think that will help a lot, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, to avoid your laziness. Because once you do it, and, and this is because of like, you know, I mean, like, a, you know, you're, you're familiarizing, you're, you're, you know, I mean, like, a, because one day, okay, uh, you think this is a good thing, or uh, being a good, a compassionate, a good thing, then second day you continue, or the third day you continue, then you're, I mean, like, you're familiarizing, you know, with these habits. And that itself, it develops a very strong one day. I can compare, you know, uh, when I was young and uh, now, a lot of changes. A lot of changes, you know. So nowadays I really appreciate when I see someone doing something good thing, very happy. And, uh, I think uh, my I'm not so prepared, well prepared, but what I I'm just talking on when what I'm feeling right now, you know. So I I don't know. <laughs> it might helpful to you or not, but I still will. I mean, like like to talk, and uh, I'm sometimes I'm lost. Okay, this is my first time. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so don't try to compare. I mean, to the like people. So you just carry on. So you can't do today. Okay, no problem. Excellent. Try it, but at least you don't forget it. Try it from tomorrow. Or maybe that's the next day. Or maybe the next, only the next day, you know. But keep on going, keep on going. That will be, that will bring you immense different, you know, in your life. So we, I mean, like, that's very, you know, understandable that we cannot achieve everything in, in a day, you know. And changing your mind. I think this is the hardest thing in our, in our life. And laziness is always a part of our life. And so-called we said, you know, we are not, I mean, like we are not lazy from this only this lifetime. We are being lazy from many, 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 many last time before also, you know. And we try to change in within this, like within this lifetime or within the year and within the day. Impossible. And yeah. So now we have to take same time to go against the laziness or against the discouragement and everything, you know, I mean, all the negativities, not only the laziness or the discouragement or something like, you know, every negativities, we have to go like, we have to take same time, but at least we have to put some efforts. That's, we have to like, we have to be like commitment for ourselves, you know. No matter, we, I, I can't do it today, but I will do it somehow. And maybe start with like every day, like, you know, like five seconds 
I would like if you make you make yourself like commitment, like you no, know, I will at least do in five seconds every day. Then maybe next day you have you are used to it, and maybe you might do the 10 seconds. Then the next day, maybe more. Then that's the how we can like build up. And uh, so now I think uh, at the same time also we it's very important to, uh, to understand the benefits actually. So benefits of like all the practices like we say the most I think the most important what we need right now is like a compassion practice. And what is the importance? Or what is the benefit of being? Compassion, and then when I'm talking about compassion, we're not talking about compassion for oneself, you know. We're talking special compassions for others. That is why I mean, like, what I think more important to understand, you know, the, the benefits, and the importance. And sometimes I, I, I really, I feel like sometimes when you're, you know, if you want to be love yourself, I think you have to love others. I think that, you know, and uh, brings the, you know, true love for oneself also. Otherwise, if you can't love others, I think you're not loving yourself. I think I can say that, you know. So normally what we understand, well, I love myself, is kind of like, a, you know, I mean, like, a, in, not exactly the real love, what I feel is, you know. So if you could show some compassion towards others, the more happiness, you are reaching inside oneself. It's hundred percent totally different than loving your only yourself. You know. So I think uh, it's very important to know uh, the reasons behind why we have to practice these compassions. Then somehow we always can put in our mind that you know. Uh, these practices, we have to keep on going, keep on going. Then, I think when these sort of feelings is stuck in your heart, then I think laziness, you know, being compassionate, I think slowly go away. Then you can be like, you know, you can be all the times, you know, I mean, like compassionate, no, no matter so whether you are, whether you are in home with dealing with the family or whether you are in the office, whether you are in a job, whether you are in shopping, you know, everywhere you can apply this, this, this emotions, feelings, you know. And uh, yeah, then you can see, I mean, like, this is quite obvious, you know, I mean, like, sometimes we see, you know, when we like try to compassion towards others, we feel like we are losing some. Yeah, I mean, like, we might can feel that, you know, we are losing some, like, one's own benefit, but, but in fact, you really analyze well. You always win yourself, you know. You always win. So I think uh, uh, these are really important. Uh, and, uh, and sometimes it's really difficult to, and I have, I've, I've raised so many questions that, you know, why, why we need to love other peoples? Not other peoples only, you know, like including we, we, we Buddhists, uh, we Buddhists explain about all mother sentient beings that includes even the animals even the, you know, the pre-thas, whatever we call it, you know. I think, um, and uh, we also talk about the, you know, I mean, like, a, like a, a beginningless lifetimes or the endless lifetimes, you know. So I think these are very connected with each other, you know. And uh, at the same time, you know, at the same time, you know, I think, uh, you know, if you, if you analyze a little bit deeply inside these things, you know, then somehow no matter, you know, we cannot be avoid being a compassionate towards others. 
like I think most of you maybe experience. Of course, we everybody experienced that, that the love come from your parents, your mothers, your you know, I mean, like your fathers, and especially uh, because. I think all of you, I mean, all of you, and all, including me myself, you know, I mean, like uh, when we see like the moms caring children, it's, I mean, like uh, unforgettable, you know, how much they care for you know, the children, you know, and uh, how much paying their attentions and, and they're showing their kindness, you know, I mean, like, uh, so that's, I mean, these are very unforgettable like moments. And uh, so now you see, I mean, like, uh, so when you have such a, I mean, like a, a feel of this, uh, you know, this mother's loving, then at the same time, so when you, have, you do have that all beings have been your part of your parents, then how can we reject this kindness? How can we avoid this kindness? How can we forget about this kindness? So we, we have to live. There's no choice. Because we born, and we, it's, it's also no choice. We might think that we have choices, but definitely we don't have choice. We have to born again, no matter. We are good or bad, but still we have to born again. We have to, we have to survive by the, under care of the mothers or the parents, you know, or the families. So we cannot be avoid. And we have been passing through this all day and night, like the numberless lifetimes, you know. So now, now we see ourselves now, okay? Okay, let's say myself. I can be lazy all the time. I can go to sleep, forget about everything. But that is not fair. So they have done a lot, a lot of things to us, towards us, but we are not reaping any single moment. Then that's really fair. I mean, like unfair, totally unfair, you know. And. Uh, and at the same time, I think there's no way that we really gain the, the deepest happiness or the ultimate happiness, you know, without the repaying or the kindness. So, yeah, then when, I mean, I, th I, think, I think maybe you, you might have also experienced that, you know, when you like, uh, uh, what do you call, have done something good towards someone or towards your family or towards your friends, I think you must have a big experience, experience the deepest happiness within yourself. I'm quite sure you all can have, you know, but if you don't expect, <laughs> sometimes expectation kills that moment, <laughs> that happiness. <laughs> um, yeah, that happens a lot, you know, especially I think uh, even the, uh, I don't know in, in the West uh, much, but in, 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 in our countries, you know, I mean, in our country that, you know, family and uh, the parents, they want to raise their kids and they have a very expectation that uh, in the future, the children will look up to them, you know, <laughs> and later on, you know, many cases like, you know, uh, that this bring um, bring all I mean parents towards the what to call in the old age home you know instead of you know repaying their like kindness you know care taking care but they put into old age home or some they just left away or some they just kick out from the home you know so that guess is because parents they love their children in big expectations of like you know and that time they have really I mean like what you call it, very strong heart. So I think uh, at the same time, so we also have to know that, you know, I mean, like we also have to be able to love without the expedition, then definitely, then definitely the 100% happiness inside you, you will gain it. And the once you started that true happiness, 
come into your heart, then you never, and then you will really start enjoying it. And once you enjoy it, everybody same. Don't want to give up. Want to carry on, carry on, carry on. And uh, yeah, so when you understand, I mean, like this background, the importance of loving, then again, that can help you. What to call? Uh, uh, what to call? To eliminate this discouragement, discouragement, or the the laziness, or whatever you tell it, you know. Then you, you will keep on going with any time, any time, and it's not necessary to think every time. We, you know, sometimes you know we, we we give ourselves too many pressures. You know, we have to do good. We have to do good. We have to do good. No. Because our, we are simple human beings, you know. Uh, we have uh, like a, I think uh, we should go on our flows with plusing a little by little, little by little with, with a small commitment. Then that will be long lasting. That will be very long lasting. Otherwise, you know, then once you try to do within, you know, try to achieve in the few, in a few days or the few months or a few years, then one day you say, I don't want more. I don't want more, you know. So I think, uh, okay. So I think, uh, I don't know how to say uh, right now, but so now it's very important of studying. I think that's very, very, I mean, important. You know, the, uh, because by studying, then you will realize that the importance, uh, the real behind, or the practices. Then, yeah, then you you, you can make you know you know uh, what you call you can make yourself you know or by understanding this, then you try to put into practice. And, uh, and, and within the practice, I think uh, very important is also meditation, you know? And that's why I think, you know, like you know, we all, I mean, like we all love to be meditate sometime, you know? And it's really, really, really important, I think, uh, doing a meditation, you know? Uh, and uh, because, you know, the, whatever you learn, so you can put into meditation, so you can analyze well within the meditation. So we call that the best is the analytical meditation, you know? And there's the how you, and, and at the same time, I also keep saying that, you know, when we say meditating, no, we are like only like, you know, uh, being sitting like this in, in a posture and, you know, try to, you know, bring back your mind, blah, 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 blah. But sometimes I really don't want to say this, you know, the meditation, you know, mainly that you are trying to familiarize it familiarizing each other, you know. That's, I think, familiarization, so I think, you know, so, so anytime, anytime, you know, uh, like so while you're walking, like while you're taking a walk, or, you know, it's, you can apply this, you know, familiarizations every time, no need it. In the all the times, all the posture, you know, you know, it should be in the morning or, you know, anytime you can, you can apply it, you know. So that's called actually the, uh, what I feel is real meditations, you know. And you try to, and at the same time, you know, at the analytical meditation, I think, I think that's really, I mean, like very, very strong and helpful. You know, like, like as I said, you know, I mean, like, like okay, for examples, being uh, you know, the kindness from the, all the parents, all the other living beings. And then we put in, like, you know, okay, why is important because of that, because of that. This is this, there's this, that is this, then you know, then that's sort of like a familiarizing. So one day, okay, for two seconds, oh, very important. Then next day, 10 seconds, or maybe then that's the how, then that, that keeps you like, you know, like, a, like giving a boost to be like a, like a, like a compassionate person. And, uh, and, uh, as, so why again again why 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 do you need to be a compassionate person? The same thing, you know. Again, question, you know, why why we need to be a compassionate person? You know? Ultimate goal is because that 
practice give you the most happy within yourself. And our goal is to be happy. How we can be happy? I think we are looking for I mean, to be happy I mean, from the morning to, till we go to bed. We are all looking for that, and we're spending a lot of money. We're spending, we're eating. You know, I mean, like a, you know, I mean, like we go to, you know, to the toilet. You know, we go to we brush your teeth. You go to shopping. You know, we're looking for only the happiness. We are doing that all for happiness. If you look carefully. So yeah, and at, at the same time, I also like to tell that you know. So as as I told you, you know, meditating doesn't necessarily you you're in a posture or something like you. You just begin, like right after you get off you from your bed, just go to toilet. Maybe you think, okay, I'm doing this poo or some whatever you do, you know. You know, for the others, why not? Because I mean, like you, you care for your body, and you care for your body can be lots of helpful to us others. Why not? Brushing your teeth, so because you can be, you can avoid avoid from the toothache, then you can be like happy. Of course, from there you can help. You know, I mean, like because you're you're taking care of yourself, so that you know you can as a healthy. Otherwise, toothache once come. Sleeping, I think, whole night very difficult. I think you, many of you, experience. I have experienced a lot. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, and uh, and same time, you know. Um, uh, I think uh, many times we neglect that whatever we achieving right now is only uh, is because of oneself, you know. So we sometimes hardly also, I mean, like remember that the kindness from this life, this present parents or the family support, so, you know. And, uh, and of course, I mean, like uh, the whole, I mean, like, uh, like uh, you know, other beings also involved in our successful life, in our daily life, you know, I mean, like, uh, day-to-day life, uh, living, and uh, living, you know. Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, okay, I took this morning like a very nice bread. And I like it. I enjoy it. But hardly I remember who made, for, who made this for me, you know. And of course, I didn't make it but I enjoy it. And someone, someone has to make for me, you know, not specifically for me, but somehow is connected with me, you know. And uh, sometimes we don't remember at all. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm very happy to live in this. I feel like this is, this is palace. Maybe I think you, some of you might have been this, in this room. I feel like, uh, okay, very old palace. And I'm enjoying really, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> but again, who made this? Okay, maybe honor, but honor I didn't himself or the herself, didn't build it. Someone has to do it, you know? And again, we never think of them. You know? And, you know, we directly, indirectly, we have so many kindness from others. That's very obvious. That is very obvious. Okay, food wise, clothing wise, shelter wise. We are totally interdependent, totally depending with by I mean with others, you know. We cannot be survive by independently. And now there's no lab questions that you know we can neglect. At least, no, I mean, like, that doesn't mean that we have to give up everything and to do, you know, uh, do everything I mean, for others only. That, that, that's, that's totally wrong, you know. So uh, I think, uh, again, you have to understand that, you know, some people really, they can sacrifice their whole life 
for others. That's that's a different case. But we, I think, being a what to call a stable one life, then don't forget when you have like a capable with the extra energy, try to do some. Otherwise, we are really, I mean, like uh, <laughs> neglecting the, the kindness, even though we can do some, you know. We, I am not telling that we can we can do a lot, but at least we can do some, you know. And yeah, same thing uh, happens to me, you know. I, I'm very lazy, honestly. And um, then I try to say, uh, like, yes, and like, okay, Lama Sobar you know, they're putting a lot of effort and we're being lazy. That's totally unfair, you know, again. Then push myself, oh, do it at least for, for, for a minute. And actually, I really didn't want to give talk on Zoom, but I also thought, oh, why not? They're doing a lot, why not once in my lifetime? Yeah, so I started with uh, avoiding my laziness. And uh, I don't know if you enjoyed my talk or not, but I think this is time to stop now. And maybe in the future, I will do a better one. So, I will open questions for you so I can maybe get more. Please go on, carry on. Um, Geshe, there is a question that uh, Elizabeth put on the chat and okay. she asks, what is the root cause of laziness? Is diligence the most effective antidote? What is the main root of laziness? Laziness. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, if short answer, of course, uh, you know, uh, the root cause we always can uh, connect with our what called self grasping, self chasement more. But now again, as I told you, you know, we don't see the importance of the other things what we need to do, you know. As I as I as I mentioned before, you know, because we neglect the importance of others. And when we neglect and when we forget the importance of others, then we really don't want to do anything, you know. And that that is the really, I mean, like a like a causes. Or to being a to being a laziness. I think so, like that, and uh, yeah, I think the, the the most important thing is that you know you think for only for yourself. You you don't want to think of others, and uh, you really I mean like neglect. You know, you just try to enjoy whatever you are achieving. You know and uh, don't know the causes of achieving this, this enjoyment from the others, from the, you know, the, the things going on around. And yeah, and we neglect it. And that brings us, okay, I don't want to care. I just want to sleep, carry on sleep. I just want to hang out, just hang out. And that could bring more, like, I mean, like, a, I think sometimes problems within yourself too, I think. I, I don't think that persons can really achieve the true happiness inside. Okay. Let's see, venerable. Um, I'd like to ask a question about something related to laziness, which I think happens to most people when they practice for many, many years. 
every once in a while you feel for, you don't even understand why, but sometimes you feel burned out or a little bit deadened in your practice. You start to lose your enthusiasm. Do you have any special techniques for rekindling your enthusiasm when you hit those sort of dark periods in your practice? I think, I think as I mentioned before, that like, you know, uh, this very common that we, I mean, like we lose all this uh, encouragement. Definitely, I mean, like because we are simple human being, we don't expect something, you know, like like others, you know, holy beings or the you know the great people, you know, you, you shouldn't compare. I know this very famous uh, Tibetan saying that you what you call, you um, make preparations to being in a high thing, but you, uh, you oh no, no, something like a, um, your hope become there, but you start with a simple thing. That makes sense because we are not well trained ourselves. Okay? We, we are never, I mean like, a, you know, don't expect and me expecting, as I told you, you know, to achieve an enlightenment in, in this, within this life. I never think I would. I wish I could achieve, but I never expect. And that's not uh, what I feel like, uh, you know, is, is not uh, like a practical. So the practical way is that because how can we change? First, first of all, very beginning, within our lifetime, you know, uh, you know how to make like a, like okay, small cases like a happy within the family. You know how can we, okay, well, how can we share some, uh, love things towards your family. You know, and it's okay to be that you know you forget like, like the the. the the, the practices you know, of other things, but you know, I mean, like at least. So as I, as I mentioned before, that you know, but don't lose that small commitment within yourself. You know, from this morning, like I begin with something, you know, doing this, something doing that, something with a small commitment. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. I'm hundred percent sure that that will make little bit changes. Maybe within a year, within a you know. Then when you really familiarize with this practice, then the take will come that, you know, you don't feel like a, you're not more like enthusiasm or something like that, you know. Until, unless you carry on like this, there's lots of time you lose your enthusiasm, as, as I told you, you know, because sometimes we expect a lot. We put a lot because, I mean, like sometimes our teacher says, you have to do that because it's really good. And we think, yeah, of course it is good. But it's not our level of mind, you know. So we can go back a little bit and sometimes go front, or maybe sometimes in the right, sometimes in the left. I can, I can go back. I think that's the good methods of, you know, you keep on going, keep on going, but don't lose the commitment, at least the small commitment, you know. And when I say commitment, it doesn't mean that big commitment, you know, very small commitment. And when you, sometimes you lose enthusiasm, okay, let it be. But at least two second commitment you can carry on all the time, all the time. Don't lose that one. And don't lose the, your great hope or the great wish. And preparation from the very, very, very small level, you know, like, I think it's, it's really practical. I think uh, I usually tell that, you know, if we, Give the you know the practice of the ten grad on a one class, a one great student. Too heavy. So let them you know, you know the study of one class to the one grade, then ten you know. So that's like a different. I think we should know that this differentiate, but we have to carry on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grade. So similar in our day to day life. Go, go with like, you know, from the very beginning to then you carry on, carry on. And as I told you, remember, we are trying to oppose all the 
the feelings, uh, negative emotions, as I don't know, should I say negative or not, but this laziness, emotions, you know, and carrying this from the very, very lifetime. And we try to go against it with a short, short moment. Impossible, impossible. So keep on going with a small commitment that will help you to bring more and more, more and more. That's very obvious. That's very obvious because I can really experience for my lifetime. Or maybe you experience all the same, you know. Today I practice, tomorrow I practice, the day after tomorrow I practice brings more easier, more, you know, naturally it will come more and more. Okay? Geshela, I have a question if no one else has a question. Um, this is somewhat related to what Bob was just asking. Um, it's not so much about laziness, but sometimes, you know, you have certain practices. Some of us, you know, most of us have practices that we do every day. Um, and, you know, after after a while, it you know, in the beginning, it has some juice in it, you know, and after a while, it kind of become you're kind of like doing the prayers and you're saying the words, and maybe once in a while your mind is actually doing the prayer itself, you know, and not thinking about something else. But how do you? How does one keep the practice a living thing? You know, because uh, you know, uh, you know what I mean. You know, it's have the practice have some juice in it, you know, so you're getting something out of it rather than just saying the words. You mean the juice? I, I, I don't get the oh, juice. Um, I just mean that, you know, have the, um, you know, um, the practice be, you know, instead of the practice becoming rote, you know, like becoming just routine mm -hmm. and just, you're just kind of doing it because you made a commitment that you're going to do it. And, okay, okay, okay. you know, and okay. instead, yes, you have a commitment to do it for the rest of your life or whatever, but you know, you, at least you're doing it in a, you know, you know, and getting something out, you know, like getting something out of it, you know, getting some, something out of it. I mean, it. having, having some, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're not focused or something, or you, you mean the, Maybe someone can help me. Um, to, who knows what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, I, I, th I think what he's saying is, you know, sometimes you're only saying the words. Uh, you... Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm, I'm doing the exactly thing. I, I'm like, you know, because I've like, uh, I, I made many commitments, like uh, uh, some, okay, like, uh, like, you know, I'm like a guru, you know, the, the Guru Yoga session, that sometimes I can think and I can relate with my, 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 my thinking all the time because I, I do every day, you know, I, that's kind of, but uh, at the same time, I also do the Yamintaka, uh, you know, this, uh, what you call, uh, I forget the name, you know, again, okay, anyways, uh, the practicing, you know, and uh, yeah, I just read it, I just read it, you know, I, I have a commitment that, you know, I, I just keep on reading, keep on reading, keep on reading. But, uh, but what I feel is that, you know, I mean, like, uh, when I, yes, okay. Now, when I haven't begin to recite it, it was totally, I mean, like, just starting very difficult because it is very long also, you know, now I, I as I took, I mean, the commitment, now reading is not a problem with me. I'm very used to, I'm very familiar with it. The reading and go just just reading reading because I don't understand everything. But now you see again. I say I'm saying one day I, I put in a hope, I put in a wish that you know, one day I will come to realize all these words. So you see, you know, now just starting reading at the beginning very boring, and I made a commitment. So I read now every day. Every day, every now, this is very easy for me, just reading only. 
But by reading that, I'm sure one day I can make a commit, strong commitment to realize many of these words. And when I realize this many of the words, then I really can put into practice. And when I really can put into practice, I'm quite sure that that is so much meaningful in my, life, in my lifetime. So you see, this commitment can help a lot, no matter you're thinking or not. So, you know, that's why, again, same problem. We think whatever we are doing right now have to achieve everything within this time, you know? So that is sometimes I think, you know, of course we need to achieve a lot of things, but, you know, don't expect, as I told you, you know, start with something very small thing. At least, you know, just right after, get up from the bed, you know. I, I, I usually do like, you know, wow, I'm alive again. I can do a little bit for others. Just carry on like this, you know. Yeah, that is, I mean, like it makes sense. Otherwise, whatever we are doing, uh, we expect, uh, like, you know, then, then one day you'll try to, then you'll lose your <laughs> temper. <laughs> <laughs> then discouragement, uh, then you, do, you really don't feel joy. Then when you lose joy, then yeah, everything's finished. Then maybe you, one day you want to say, I want to give up everything. <laughs> and ultimately, again, you say, I mean, the, the, the losing is only for yourself. And we don't want to lose oneself. Because we are from the morning, we are saying, I want to gain something good things within my life. So who's, I'm mean like, who's lost? One set loss. So, yeah, whatever you can do, carry on, carry on, carry on. And uh, and as I said, don't commit much, <laughs> much commitment. <laughs> At the very beginning, but I, I'm, I don't know, I'm saying right thing. But yeah, slowly carry on, slowly slowly. And one day, I'm quite sure, once you start enjoying it, you won't get any hard things. You won't get any laziness to carry on. Otherwise, there's always chances. Okay, I don't want to do anymore. Then you give up totally. So this same thing, you know, I'm reading this Yamindaka text every morning. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not tired of it. But I keep doing it. I keep doing it because I don't know. I don't. I do enjoy it or not. But somehow, you know, it's not difficult for me. You know. But if I try to think and if I try to realize, if I try to uh, put into practice and you know, uh, you know, change, try to bring some changes into within my life, you know, then I think difficult. But of course, some good effects always I carry on. I think I, I'm changing a lot. I'm sure I'm changing a lot. Thank you, Gesula. Anyone else have questions? So how long we, do we have a time? Like it's 7.55 right now. So what time are we stopping? I don't know. <laughs> uh, because yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm afraid that you, you guys are getting bored. <laughs> Oh, not at all, Gessler. We, we have at least five more minutes. So yeah, you know, yeah. people, if people want to ask any other questions. I have a question, Shankar. <clears throat> could could Gessler speak to the um, different types of lazinesses and how we can fight them? Oh, yeah, laziness can be many, many. I think uh, even like, uh, you know, the laziness, I think they're... Uh, I think, I think actually explain, uh, explaining the uh, lumbrim also, but you know, sometimes uh, laziness can be understood in different uh, angles, you know. I think self chair is oneself. Also, I think can say, can be said that, of course, uh, kind of like laziness, you know. And uh, so sometimes, I, I don't know, uh, have you ever heard, you know, I, I use some this some term, you know, good laziness and bad laziness. I don't know if you have come across this word or not. You know, I, I use a lot. Uh, I have, you know, I'm, you know, like, uh, let's say, only looking for materialism. 
you know, running only after the naturalism, you know. So it's, it's also only at the kind of like a, at the laziness. You know, so I say I'm very lazy because, you know, sometimes the monk's life do look like a very lazy. And yeah, because we are not making money. Oh, yeah, we are like <laughs> raised up with others' money, of course. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's true. I mean, like, uh, you know, and uh, and I explain, you know, I'm very lazy because I don't want to work. <laughs> and I don't want to run after the money or something like that, you know. I, uh, so yeah, in in one sense, I can say that you know, too much running after the money for your you know your, your yourself. I think that you know also kind of like a, uh, the true laziness of the laziness for your you know experience the true happiness for oneself. As I told you, because when you say you love yourself, sometimes if you really cherish you know only for oneself, then I think that is also I mean like a. Uh, part of not loving yourself. So that is also part of, I think, I think laziness, you know. I think that also you can, you can say it's laziness. Yeah, so I think good laziness, not running after only materialism. <laughs> I don't know. I do have good laziness or bad laziness, but somehow I feel I have all, all the time laziness. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm trying to avoid, and um, yeah, I'm trying every day like do more aware of myself, so I can apply you know some real what you called supplement for myself. I don't know, maybe doing for others or not. Yeah, but at least I'm trying my best. Okay. Well, um, thank you very much, Geshela. Um, we really appreciate you having spent the time with us. Yes. And please come back. That's all I can say. It was wonderful. <laughs> your talk. So please, please come back. I wish. That's because we don't, we don't want our Geshela to be lonely. So you have to come back. That, that is true, Geshela. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kesula. Thank you. Most welcome. Thank you all. Yeah. Good you night. And good night, everyone.